Can you please tell us more stories of how you got in trouble? Uh, Gilbert, what do you mean? I haven't been in trouble too much. I mean, Jim Morrison was, like, one of my life heroes. In some ways, he still is, but not as much, because obviously it was extremely flawed at the same time. But his dedication to, like, English and how he studied and his absolute fearlessness as far as his creativity, yeah. But anyways, he used to be full-on a hero of mine, Gilbert. So I would all the time write poetry, all the time, all the time. I had all kinds of, you know, little girlfriends, and would always write in poetry trying to be like Jim Morrison. It would always be, like, really risque shit, and I got caught with it. One time I wrote a letter to a girlfriend in middle school, it was called Titty Titty Bang Bang. And I got caught, and the teacher who caught me was extremely Christian. And she said, you get this pornography out of my face. And sent me to the principal's office. Well, my parents divorced when I was young. And I lived with my grandma. I was mostly with my grandparents growing up and so the principal made me call my mom but when I think mom I usually think my grandma now my grandma is also very Christian and so little did the principal know I was reading to my grandma this poem I had read called titty titty bang bang and you could just about imagine what the words said and there was dead silence on the end of the phone when I was done reading this when I came home that night I said, that was worse. That was about the worst punishment you could have done to me. Her name was Mrs. Van Horn, the principal. She said, why? And I said, that was my grandma. And she just turned pale. She said, that's not the kind of thing a grandma should hear. <laughs> Anyways, I came home. And the house was darkened. They had turned off the lights in the house. Out of shame. It was a shaming night. And my dad met me at the front door. Now, see, I was a prim and proper young man. I was on the football team, wrestling team, grades were good. You know, I was one of those kids. Not in, you know, goody two-shoes, but as, as in groomed. The parents have you in programs. You're not going to fuck up because you're going to get their wrath. Big plants. Big plans, baby. Playing games on the internet with these big plants. My dad said, you're going to go in there, you're going to apologize to your grandmother, and that's going to be that. You're going to deal with the repercussions of it. You're granted for a week. We'll talk about it later. My dad was extremely good to me. Love him to death. And he was really good at giving me man-to-man -man time. Same with my grandpa. I'm very blessed for that. But it was time now that I had to face the true punishment. So I came into the house. And my grandma got up. And she didn't say anything to me at first. She just got up, head down. And I said, I'm sorry. And she was crying. And she came up, and she gave me a hug, and, and she whispered in my ear, and she said, I know that you'll never embarrass your family like that ever again. <laughs> I was in seventh grade. I felt like it was a little much. But see, as a child of divorce, this became fuel. No story is one-sided when you're a child of divorce. It's always because one parent will play against the other parent. And so this became fuel for my mom. She thought the punishment had taken too, been taken too far. She thought that the letter was pretty innocent. Wasn't a big deal. See, one side did think it was a pretty big deal. And they would, they would just... This is what parents do sometimes in divorce situations. Is they'll always just take the opposite side. And so that splits the kid. The kid doesn't get, like, uh, consistent feedback from their behaviors. I'm trying to find my father. Big Blaze. Yeah, Big Blaze. Hey, let's get drunk and toss this gun around, Big Blaze. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. There you go, Gilbert. You got another story. Made me type all that out. Didn't even read it. Oh, well, Waffly didn't show up. I can't believe you read that to your grandma. I had to. Waffly didn't show up. Repost it again. Because I got, no, just a normal story. I was messing around with a friend. And made me type all that out. And he didn't even read it. No, I'll definitely read it, Waffly. It just didn't show up in chat. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. You know me, Waffly. I'm not going to ignore you. That ain't my intention. This isn't about me. This is about my screw the bother. 
Screw the vault, I'm not saying cooped so up in there. To leave one of the safest places in the wasteland, even though it was in your We'll pay half that. Stay. Damn, J. Paul Getty. Well, I'm afraid your father is no longer here. I'm not sure why I didn't send Waffle. It does that sometimes. Stop wasting my time and tell me where he well, is. I don't know where he is. The last I knew, he was going back to the old lab. Now, will you kindly leave? I have work to do. Let me know if it came up. It didn't come up. Oh, uh, the haggling went out for days. The days went out for weeks. The weeks for years. Tell me where this lab is so I can get going. I'm going to tell you the same thing I told your father. Don't go. Whatever's left there, it isn't worth it anymore. The project was abandoned. We gave up. There's no reason to go back. I was a little shit in high school. I think in year 10, I was only there for a couple weeks. The rest of the time, I skipped school. Really, really rough high school life. Didn't want to be there for anything. And I was in the store nicking random things because I was bored. And I'm a Pokemon fan, so I pocketed some cards. But there was a worker near me who saw. It was really that simple. Was arrested, taken to the cop show. Yo, Bohan. To the cop shop. They questioned me for about an hour or two because I wouldn't tell them my mom's name. Waffly's a badass. I ain't telling you nothing, says Waffly. Waffly decided to go down swinging in the face of danger. El Bohan is a really talented streamer. He streams consistently. He's also extremely good at video games. He's a great guy. Make sure you give him a follow if you want to be entertained. Yo, Bohan! Welcome. They questioned me for about an hour or two because I want to tell them I finally did. She picked me up as soon as she stopped at the streetlights. I jumped out again and, and legged it. She says I was a cunty kid. Cunty. <laughs> nice. Good story. Good story. Awfully want to give them the information they wanted. Why is he so angry? I don't tell the cops my real name. You have to? I don't need a lecture, I just need to go after him. Fine, suit yourself. It's in the old Jefferson Memorial Building, northwest of here. Until I did, wow. Aren't the cops really low-key in Australia? And like, Germany and stuff? And the Bobbies in Britain are all like, really chilled out? Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right, Waffly, whoops. I was reading yours. Yet more proof that the brain cannot actually multitask. There's Bohan. There's Bohan. He's so pissed. Is there any way you can help me out? Look, I don't want to be harsh, but I have problems of my own. I don't have the resources to support James's foolish endeavors, or you're chasing after him. I'm sorry. Didn't have to. Hey, I wanted to. So, Bohan, you're coming in our fall three playthrough. We should have been beyond this. What's a should? But we had to save corrupt, so we lost about three hours. But that's cool. We beat the pit again for a second time. It was exactly the same as the first time. We were a little more effective. Now we are pushing main story content to try to be at a good stopping point. Make up for lost time. Why is she trying to... I've already told you everything. Where'd my father go? The last I knew, he was headed back to. I still say it's dangerous. I have to go. Oh, actually, talk to me I've about Pinkerton. You everything. And everybody on the internet knows Pinkerton. That idiot. You he left so long ago. It's gratitude. <laughs> FK for a moment. That's cool, Bohan. We love our lurkers. Thanks for being here, dude. Thanks for the host. Depends where you're at with the cops. Here I was uh, doing all this. Not a great area to begin with, so the cops are kind of more pissy there, with good reason. Makes sense, Waffly. Makes sense. Hey, thanks. You were nice now. Let's talk to Abra. Let's save. I'm still nervous that this is gonna, like, crash, but we're just not gonna grab any slaves. Hey, 
did not have that and beforehand, I would have just been gladly prepared, gladly and only gladly, before I talked to her, gladly to see your ass behind bars. But after talking to Casey and hearing her... Abraham, I need a quest, bud. You just closed your door. I heard it closed. Where'd you go? Oh, there he is. Quite an impressive collection, isn't it? Well, don't be shy. Have a look around. Chris Abraham Washington's the name. Curator of this little slice of American history. Wow. It's an interesting collection of garbage. One man's garbage is another man's treasure trove. Don't underestimate these documents. They may not now I swear. But their value is immeasurable. Or would be anyway. I think it's like you said, Waffle. You were bored. You can't be blamed. 15, 16 years old. You just want to... Hey, fuck it. Test it out, right? This game is What's missing is my ability to stay awake in the snoratorium. My friend... The sleeping fox catches no moss. And you will. Would you want That's the rolling the stone. What the hell is he talking climate? about? The sleeping fox gathers no moss. I am, I was nice about it. The hell are you talking about, Abraham Washington? And what do you do? You can't All right, I'll buy. Which document is missing? In 1776, the Second Judgmental Congress got together that. and adopted a document Stop. drafted by none Stop. other than Thomas Jefferson himself. It was the day the United States of America earned its name and secured its place in history. This magnificent achievement took form in the Declaration of Independence. Not some cheap paper I could get at Walmart for five hundred dollars. What's your point? Well, I was hoping you'd be able to get That's right, Waffly. I want you to get the declaration for me. That Nexus cat hype. The declaration would tie this collection of documents together so well and give it the patriotic meaning it deserves. If you can find it for me, I'd be sure to make it worth your while. Slow down there, Gramps. What's this reward you're talking about? You'd secure your place in history. The woman who rediscovered the Declaration of Independence imagined the handcare. And the speech, Abe. I need to get paid. Heroes of the United States will receive rewards befitting their rank, I can assure you. Your prize Tend will to be, be seen no here. <laughs> I have in my possession the only known schematic for the creation of something called the Railway Rifle. Bring me the declaration, and it's yours. I'd love to be a hit. All right, we already talked about this, man. Excellent. You won't regret it. Get on my level. You. Imagine you are taking part in another chapter of American history. I envy you. You can find the Declaration of Independence in the ruins of the National Archives. I have a few questions. Can you show me how to get? In the DC ruins, you'll find the National Archive, or what's left of it anyway. The building should contain the document in a protective glass case. Be careful. The place is swarming with super mutants. Here, let me pinpoint its location. Drink alcohol, Gilbert. What's the stupidest thing you've ever done? Please ask them. After all, Knowledge is power. All well, this info that where'd you get it? I don't like secrets. Certain information can There's supposed to be another person there. But I'd like some information about that. Oh well. It's worth doing her thing because we get the thanks for that. Sydney's ten millimeter SMG and it's super good. Jefferson Memorial, here we come. Stole Pokemon cards, yes. Agree to mod a Twitch channel, good one. Oh, that, that goes in the quotes, too. That goes in the quotes, too.
We need to give it context, though. I'm gonna add a little... I'm gonna spruce it up a little bit. We've had four quos tonight. That's where we've really had a big roar tonight. There we go. It's a part of history now. Alright, now if we freeze on our way to Jefferson Memorial, we won't think about it too much because that's supposed to be normal. Why is Grand One said Vagna Gun is great? That sounds like Tyrell. What twine? Oh, we should have kept the context for that one. If you want something depressing, I think quote two is Gimpin, who, rest in peace, is no longer on this mortal coil. Yep. And it is a Gimpin's quote. It is a Gimpin's quote. Rest in peace. Give me another crew head. Do it, Waffly. I want to see you on the top of the leaderboards. I want to start up tomorrow's stream and see you in that top five. We got to get you on there. Five hundred every day, no doubt about it, Gilbert. You got to answer too, man. I want to hear what you got to say. Compound effect, exponential curves. You're gonna make a lot more money making five hundred dollars a day rather than a million dollars all at once. Just like that writer who wants uh, sixteen million from The Witcher because he didn't ex want royalties. He didn't think the game would do well. Now he wants more money because he took a a lump sum to begin with rather than royalties. Now he realizes that he would have made a shit ton of money had he just waited a little while. He wants to have his cake and eat it too. 500 a day, yeah, good idea, good idea. I'm coming for that leaderboard. Gonna see you up there. Permanent fixture. Trick or need. Oh my god. This thing is fantastic, this axe. Okay, I'm now gonna try to make a second save. That save is gonna be our level 13 save before we go to the... Exit through the gift shop. To try to get our achievement. I wonder what these guys are fighting. Smashy, smashy! Enjoy! Now, we still have the other save, right? Yeah, alright, good. That's gonna be our achievement save. The best Aussie in your leaderboard. True, we need the best Aussie around in general. You always bring the energy. Every time you show up, you get things going in here, I'm telling you. you 
We've been live almost 10 hours again, and this is probably the most active we've been all day. Do you bring the energy, Waffly? No wonder your community sticks around tight to you. We got a robbery in progress. The hype. This is one very confused super mutant. What was that guy even attacking earlier? And I want to know why Fallout 4 got rid of centaurs. These things are creepy. Man, this thing just blows through them. Tunda. Uh, if they made a new improved version of Fallout 3 with this graphics and functionality to be the best Fallout game. That's a bold statement. That is a bold statement. I can't say if I agree or disagree, Gilbert, because I haven't played New Vegas. I haven't played New Vegas. But we're very close to getting to play New Vegas. I'm rich. Oh, you got 100 new yen. There you go. Did you get some gear, too? Hey, it adds up. It adds up. I wonder if there's any really good repair people because now samurai sword or samurai armor I haven't been able to get that gear back into shape Damien just sawing his way through the enemy having no problems at all like something like this the Zulong assault rifle we can just repair it every time there's a Chinese rifle but the samurai sword not remotely as easy, and the armor especially not. You guys want to learn about Project Purity? Even on Vault 101, my work on Project Purity never really stopped. Soon after we arrived, my nightly routine included sneaking into the restricted areas, searching for, I don't know, whatever I could find. It was a vault -like facility after all. The place was built with some of the most advanced technology this country had ever developed. Those excursions... How's that statue not eroded? It didn't so work, well, so. It's not currently recognized. Scotch, I broke into the overseer's office. It was easy enough to hack his... Earth beats water, apparently. ...access to the restricted files. Most of it was garbage. Propaganda, spy reports, just plain rambling bullshit, really. But there was one thing... One name that stood out amongst all the others. Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I knew of Braun's work, of course. He was a celebrity in his day. Voltex sorcerer scientist, leaving his peers in awe of his technological wizardry. There's gotta be a way back here. Was in Vault 101 that night in the OSEA's office. Hmm. What am I missing? I learned of Braun's involvement in Voltex social preservation program and his work on something called Gang. Garden of the creation kit. To be honest, the gang sounded like pure fantasy, even for someone of Bronze capabilities. It was nothing short of a miracle. Oh, nope, that is looking too high by design. Try this. Clearly, there's a better way to do this, but. Oh, what? What? How did we get knocked off that? That whole time we <laughs> ran the rail. I think there's an invisible wall there. We'll see. We'll do it one more time. I think we can do it again. 
I was thinking to myself, shit, we got this. Oh, then I did that because I'm going to listen to this. Well, we can get up. Is there a... I wonder if we can get up there sooner. Oh, yeah. So fall of 76 is early, so none of these events are going to happen. People talking about like, oh, it's not going to stick to the canon. They can create their own canon. It's so early in the in the lore that... Well, I think we're really fucked up. I think we actually got ourselves stuck. There we go. We can get up here again. I just know it. We can do it once, we can do it again. Son of a bitch. I went back in here. Apparently we gotta go to this fucking area. Gift shop again, what? Whatever. Has it literally been this door this whole time? So that's embarrassing. Why does it want us to go back out now? I guess we probably found what we needed to find. Gain access to Vault 112. Okay, yeah. We listened to the dad's notes. He went to Vault 112 because of Brawn. Because of the Gek. Gek made the Brawn in Vault 112. Oh, hell, we're really close to Tranquility Lane, then. And after Tranquility Lane, you're not very far off at all from going and meeting the Enclave. It's amazing how short Fallout story, Fallout 3's main quest actually is, and yet the entire game ended. On the original release, not in the Game of the Year edition, but originally when this game came out, and that was such a controversial thing. It makes sense from a storytelling perspective, but you can bust out this main story in, like, four hours. Bubbles. Uh, today on fourth period geometry, my teacher put on no uh, put on Go Guardian, which lets them see the screens of students. The teacher's screen was projected on the board, and he was searching through everyone's screens. He found one of the students watching Furry Hente. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Only slightly embarrassing panda, yeah. Felt so bad for him. Why the hell was he watching Hente in geometry class anyways, but still. <laughs> Put 
dare to be stupid. <laughs> Yo, speaking of that. Bubbles, look, Kuma! I mean, let's fucking... We all know how those furries, those furries, the reputation of furries is strong right now. Holy shit. Alright, let's... Let's at least cut down on the running a little bit. Why is this guy an enemy? That's supposed to be that way? Sam Warwick? Hold on, I gotta look this guy up. Why is he an enemy? That can't have been... ...meant to be. A friendly rival of Lazo, Laszlo Radford. Sam is a lone raider and a keen shot. Blonde. Aggressive. What's his karma? Evil. Can he be enslaved? Sam? So, let's... He's a lot more... He's worth a lot more to us. Doesn't look like it as a slave than he is anything else. I'm just gonna leave him alive. I want to see if we can uh, enslave him. I need Yen, damn it. We gotta get some goblin hordes going. What was the fight up here? Exclamation mark goblin horde. Uh, Waffly. Make sure you guys are alive, but let's farm some Yen out. If you guys can get through some encounters. What the fuck's up here? A death claw. Holy shit. Oh, it's a Yu Gi Oh! Or Yo, Yo Guy. Sergeant R3. Wait, where's your, where's your merchant? Oh shit, Tinker Joe's dead. Does... Does Fallout 3 predate Oblivion? Because Oblivion doesn't let things like this happen. Whereas Fallout 3 does not give a shit. We can't buy that sergeant robot anymore now. Rib, yeah. Not a part of the goblin horde. Oh, we have to make one. It's, uh... I think it's goblin horde start. If I get involved in it all, I can do whispers. Two years earlier. That's weird. Because, you know, Oblivion had the big step up from Morrowind. Because in Morrowind, you could literally kill everybody, which you would know, Wilso, but... For those that don't. Anybody could die in Morrowind. And you could k go and kill people... For the sake of role-playing, you could kill anybody, but the problem was, in doing that, many people would kill crucial characters for the story and never end up being able to run quests and stuff. Good thing those robots were around, because that guy was actually kicking our ass. And they changed that in Oblivion, where they would just get knocked unconscious, which you see in this. But in Fallout 3, they have this dynamic world. It's so cool, but at the same time, things like Tinker Joe dying really set the game world amok. And it's not something the player has a lot of agency over. It's very similar to Stereo Decay 2 when we get pissed about like not doing executions properly or air humping and all that shit. Super similar to that. But a little bit worse. Like here, another guy just died. And like people will go out and do their own shit, and they got a real good chance of dying. There's some massive monsters out here. Yeah, GH, yeah, GH Creek. Good job, Wilson. And the GH joint. Good. Did it work for you? And if you guys want yen, if you guys want to farm out some yen, that's a and gear. Honestly, we have a decent group of people here. I don't know. I don't look at my viewer numbers, but we could do sub king too. Let's see if we can get something going here. This gives extremely good gear. Um, Oblivion. Thank you for that, Wilson. By the way. 
I'm not even sure how they got access to the free shit. The county restricts access. Like, the county, the school district county-wise, or... Or, like, your actual county in your state doesn't allow furry shit. How are those not hitting? We've hit high enough level now that the creatures in the world have really leveled up. Fallout uh, does that in all games. For Carla, camper van person died. He didn't have a trailer. Trader come to his home base at all. Okay, so they... I didn't know that. I didn't know that. It's really cool, but at the same time, like, things like that are problematic. Does Fallout 4 at least make it so that they respawn after so many hours? Because that seems like the solution to it. You could still have it where it's cool and they die and all that's random. But with more people, more, poor, more important NPCs, have them respawn after a set amount of time. Dude, holy shit. We are actually in really big trouble right now. We're running out of equipment. Everything is doing so much damage to us. Wait, we don't have a stealth boy on us. We're gonna have to just... Oh, thank God, he put his head right into it. Oof, we need to find a bed. Must be Vault 112 right here. Now, Vault 112 is actually, I think it's the only one in the entire game that's pristine. We're about to do some really demented shit. The end of this song is so good. voice just changed. Hook you up with Psycho, hook you up with MedX, you want anything? I want some chems. Sure! We gotta get some more subs in that. Well, I just realized that made no sense. Fallout does that in other games. And poor Carla died. Didn't have a trader come to his base. Oh, and four camper van person died, so Hammy didn't have a trader come to his home base at all during his whole gameplay, whereas I did. Okay, well, with Carla, though, like, in Fallout 4, there's so many merchants. That I don't really see Carla dying as a big deal. But I see what, I definitely agree with you, Waffle, and see what you're getting at. But like Carla dying, eh. And Fallout 3, having Tinker Joe die, that's one of four or five merchants. That's it. They're, they're just the, the only traveling merchants in the whole game. And they have rare loot, each and every one of them. You can, they're part of an unmarked quest. That you can invest in them and actually make a lot of caps and get huge discounts. They're a good way to make caps themselves after you do the investment. And in his case, he's the only way you can get a hold of that sergeant as your companion. Which is something we need to think about doing, because we need someone to kind of tank for us sometimes. Our character's been taking a knock. Oh, dude, another you guy? That was extremely close. 
Uh, did I still not get the Goblin Horde? Check your whispers. Or check, I think, status that it is. Unless the death close in the valley. Uh, too long in my game. I swear they started to multiply. I couldn't multiply. I couldn't get through in the end because there was like 10 in that quarry. Words are hard. I feel you. I miss the ability to merge my weapons in 5 though. When they started to decay and whatnot. So does 4... I don't think 4 has decay, does it? And I know in Fallout 76 they're bringing decay back. But it's not like this where you use duplicates. You gotta use leather and aluminum and shit like that. Open, there's a bed. Wow, that is the most gory torso I've seen. That is detailed, except his like spine isn't quite lined up. Actually, a lot of good crafting gear there. Shit. Uh, you gotta play 76, damn it, water. Fuck yeah, man. Fuck yeah. That's why we're going through all these different falls right now to kind of get ready, get prepped, try to finish up some achievements. How you doing, water, by the way? I'm definitely ready. Just like Battleborn, the division. Fortnite. Yo, damn it! Water! Thanks for being here, water. How are you doing, sir? I'm pumped. The division, as I said. If it's at least decent. I plan to make that our game that we grind consistently for a while. Did we ever even discover whatever that was? Oh my god, our character's hurting. I'm gonna have to... Do we... Okay, we made progress. I gotta go back to Tenpenny Tower and get health. Yes, good. We're gonna play this together, Walter. We're gonna play this together. Tyrell's getting it, Wilson's getting it, Justin's getting it, something's getting it. We got uh, Show the Reapers getting it. We got a pretty good chunk of people. We should have a nice friends list full of people to do some nukes, do some nuclear raiding with. Full power armor, nuke the hell out of some fools, and go get the goodies. I didn't get whisper anything about the horde. You should be a part of Wilson's thing, but I think it's exclamation mark status waffling, and that'll tell you if you're like in jail or if you're dead. If you're dead or in another raid, then it probably didn't go through. It looks like Wilson might be the only one who's in there. But he is leveling up a bunch. Chips on the horde again, man. So your character has got to be somewhere else. But they aren't able to actually get in there. I'm good. Uh, working long hours. I got Black Ops 4 also. Might try it out so i'm ready for 76. that sounds good water that sounds good do you like where you're at right now with your job are you enjoying the new job or have you been working this for a while i haven't talked to you since you got the job i think you were on the hunt the last time we talked you had just moved into a new place and stuff what else do we have for guns i'm gonna take this and Actually, where's that alien pistol? That thing was actually really good. That might help us. But the stabilizer is also really good. That might do just enough damage. Uh, have a super great, awesome night. Good night. Thank you, Gober. I appreciate that, man. You have a good night, too, dude. Thanks for hanging out. Yo, Gilbert, you have a good night. You have a super night. You have a fantastic night. Gilbert, you have an excellent night. You have a great night. Fine night. A good night. Gilbert. 17,000 you. Have a good night. Thank you for being here, dude. Appreciate it. Oh, it's bright. Now it's daytime. It's trippy. We've been running around at night so much.
Construction. Hey, fuck yeah. Rowdy water. GG, man. You still get to see your little girl, right? No, what's it? Park. Son. Son, you got a son. I'm sticking with it. You've got a son. He was like three. Oh, he should be like four now. You still get to see him. Often. Uh, and actually learn his skill. Fuck yeah, proud of you, Walter. That's cool, man. Cool as shit. Good on you, dude. He's my boy. Good, good. I... I almost fucked that up big time. I almost fucked that up big time. And the girl? What's going on with that? You guys back together, not together? <coughs> How about the baby mama? Two and a half. Wow, okay, so I was way off on that. How we could forget your son in a year. Now that's just disappointing. All kinds of places out here to be discovered. There are so many bears out here. A nice initial hit, maybe. Atticus! Speaking of water, we're gonna have to battleborn those bears. Do I have to do this like piecemeal, trying to find checkpoints along the way to keep us moving along? I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of loot out here. Oh no, this is where we need to be. This is the secret entrance to the vault. Oh, if you're in jail, Waffly, here. I think prison release will get you guys out. Okay. Look at that. Some of those are were literally hitting him. We're nice to each other too. Right on. <laughs> Be a tank in 76. That sounds good. I'm sure you will pull it off. I'm gonna try to be... I'm gonna try to go down Charisma. That's my, my pre-thinking. Try to give you guys a shit ton of XP when you play with me. And I wanna be a merchant. Try to make a lot of money and try to get you guys a lot of XP when we play together. I'm so looking forward to it, man. I give the same spiel every time people ask about it, but I love the French MMORPG called Dofus that had a player generated economy and uh, PvEVP content, that high tension, high risk, high reward of the PvP, but at the same time, the depth, the skill trees, the grinding, the armor sets, the different uh, builds, all of that depth role playing goodness. When those get into a package together, like Battleborn also managed to do, so good, so good. Favorite kind of game. I'm so looking to forward to Fall 76 and hope it, is, it meets those standards. I'm going to sleep on top of these bones because we are, after all, the Antichrist in this game. That should back up to tanks, too. Make syringes. Hopefully, be able to make healing equipment. And I guess you can't redo your cards, but I'm hoping they eventually... Sometime, someday, maybe around the same time they do mods, apparently a year from now, do a server like Dofus had that's a hardcore server, hardcore PvP server. And it was a faction war, but it was like 400 times the XP, 200 times the loot drops. But it was permadeath, so you would lose your MMO character right then, right there. And it was PvP all the time. Every place was dangerous. There wasn't just PvP zones. It was really fun, actually. Really fun. And I hope Fallout 76 does something similar. I know there's going to be PvE-only events, which I should have mentioned to something. I don't think he's still here, but... I know he is more of a sing solo, single-player guy, but... Which I I'm surprised, because he plays Destiny with his friends a lot, so... Uh, BB is the most underrated game ever, hands down. Water, I agree with you. I agree with you, man. 
No, I escaped. Uh, then you did that, and I lost you and shit. My bad, Waffly. Uh, I don't know if I can give all right now or not. Let me try. I was doing it at the opening of the stream. We'll see if we can do it again. Might not be able to do it again. Ah, it's probably on cooldown. We'll get you that yen back though, Waffly. A 112. And you can see, if you look at the trailers of Fallout 76, look how much this has come along. Like, this was epic in 2008, and they have just... Even in Fallout 4, it's extremely noticeable how far they've come. It's okay, it was only five. Right on, right on. <laughs> I was charging you for the Pokemon cards, Waffly. It had to be done. Welcome Always gets you out of trouble. Are you still uploading YouTube? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Still uploading quite a bit to YouTube. In fact, we have Let's Plays on there. This will be on YouTube as well. And Water, we just recently got this to happen. If you have misplaced your suit, I am authorized to distribute a new one. Hold on. There's some good storytelling here, so I'm pausing for a minute. To the main floor, so that you may enter your assigned tranquility lounger. We finally have our own URL. So we hit 100 subs. So yeah, still uploading to YouTube Water. Thank you. Damien is in the Vault 112 outfit. Let's do this. We are about to do some really sadistic shit as an evil character. Vault 112 gives us the option to do some very dark things. I'm adapting. This was really hard for me to start with to do the bad character thing. But now that it, like I've got a taste of it, it's becoming a habit and it's getting to be a lot easier to be the evil person. Go. Thank you, Water. No! Elevated. Send me in. I like bad playthrough. This is the first time I've actually ever done this in a video game water, I'll be honest with you. I always play a good person. I have a real tough time being evil. Maybe Fable, but even then you could just, you know, spam stuff to be evil just for the look. So it's been hard, but at the same time, I'm starting to get used to it. You do bad playthroughs, Water, when you... Oh yeah, Water, you should totally check out Waffley. by the way. Twitch.tv forward slash Waffley. She is a fantastic Twitch streamer, and she is our favorite Aussie. Hey, we lovely. I want to see that achievement pop for being evil. Maybe after we put our points in. Let's bring this to 85, let's bring this to 75. Let's bring our medicine up. Because we've been doing a lot of melee. Lawbringer. If, once you have the Lawbringer perk, any evil character you kill, I mean, that shouldn't be an option for an evil killer. If we want even more money, we can do contract killer. You don't, there's not a lot of people who have ears. This is yet another example where the good player gets a total advantage. Every time you kill somebody who's in the Enclave, finger. Um, the Talon Mercs, fingers. Just Raiders, fingers. You can get so many more fingers than ears, it seems like. With Kim Perks, the Kims you take it last twice as long. That actually sounds pretty useful. Your limbs only receive 50% of the damage they normally would. Cannibal. When you're in sneak mode, you gain the option to eat a corpse to regain health. But every time you feed, you lose karma. And if the act is witnessed, it's considered a crime against nature. You know we gotta do that. We're Damien. Of course we're gonna eat flesh. We're not human. It's not really cannibalism. Arbiter of war. Take a hike, mud. 
What's wrong with you, dog? Dude, dad is going to be so upset with us. Daddy is going to be so upset with us once he realizes what we became once we were out of the vault. You and I, we're going to get along, Betty. Oh, someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. I was just starting to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. Yes, we are, Betty. And you are? I'm Betty. I live here on Tranquility Lane. Want to play a game? I try to play selfishly, I like to think. <laughs> well, they are just video game people. A game? What the hell's going on here? We're going to play a game now, silly. That's what's going on. I'm looking for my father. Gee, I don't know. What's he like? He's a scientist. He's looking for Dr. Braun. <laughs> That's your daddy? Oh, we're going to have so much fun. This is going to be the best game ever. No games. Tell me where my father is now, you little brat. Oh, don't be mean. That's not a good way to start. And he's going I to be so upset with us. Game. So that's what we're going to do. Look, kid, I'm not Instead, interested. Instead, I want to play a game. It's easy. You make Timmy Newsbone cry, and I'll help you. If you don't, then I guess you'll never find out where your daddy is. All right, Timmy. Where the hell are you at, Timmy? Guess we gotta do. It's some of the best lip syncing. Lip syncing, I think, ever in the history of video games. They got one motion. That's it. It's some kind of computer simulation. Sounds like you've been spending too much time with your nose and those darn comic books, sport. Those comic books are the devil. What can you tell me about Timmy? My boy Timmy? Good kid. Straight laced, good head on his shoulders. Never been in so much as a fist fight. We're a close knit family. Don't know what any of us would do if something happened. Have you seen my dad? Nope. Afraid not. Don't you worry about it, though. We'll find him. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? Besides how wonderful it is to live here, oh, yes. everyone's very friendly. Even old Lady Dithers, though she's lost most of her marbles. Nice day. Of course it is. It's America, isn't it? Ah. All right, I gotta go. Have a great day. Hey, what's going on with old Lady Garbles? I want to know how she's lost her marbles. Garbles has lost her marbles. <laughs> Ah, Damien as a little girl. The mother of Jackal. And Daddy doesn't know what to do. Are you Garbles? You? You don't belong here. You're not supposed oh, to be Oh, Dithers. Here. It's not real. None of it. It needs to end. The suffering You're crazy, end. old bat. Get away from me, you crazy old bat. You're the only one who can end it. You must end it, don't you see? You're the only one who can disable the failsafe. I'm serious. Get the hell away from me. You need to know the truth. Otherwise, he'll suck you in just like all the others. Beware. Wolfie's going to get that badge. He's going to get that badge. For real. Eating flesh and pissing off daddy. <laughs> That's a good title, Waffly. That's a good title. Eating flesh and pissing off daddy. Hey, Timmy, you little shit. Hi there. I'm Timmy. Wanna play? No, you little fucker. Hey, I heard your parents are getting divorced. What? Did I do something bad? Yeah, it was all your fault. They never loved you. In fact, they both hate you and wish you were dead. It's all your fault, Timmy. How did we lose karma for that? You alright there, Timmy? Ah, right, good boy. And the badge. Hey there, little lady. How's it going? 
You see what I did to your son? Did you see what I did to your son? I just want you to know. Go talk to your dad. You alright there, Tim? What's wrong, Tim? You want some fucking water, Tim? Hello. This Hello, mommy. Sweetie, how are you? None of this real. It's a crazy experiment. Oh, you're such a kidder. Can you tell me about the neighborhood? Roger suggested we move here. I don't quite remember when that was. It's very nice. We're doing quite well. That kills me. Have you seen my dad? Your dad? No, I haven't. I'm sure he's around here somewhere. I have to go. Bye bye. <laughs> you're fine, Tim. You're fine, boy. Stupid ass dog. Kick him. We're embracing Daddy, the evil playthrough. Play after all, huh? I had a feeling you'd come around. Your approach was somewhat uninspired, but it'll do. Since you won the game, okay. you get a prize. You may ask one question, which I will answer as honestly as possible. How do I get out of here? An interesting choice. Certainly not what I had anticipated. Simply put, you leave when I say so. This place is under my control and I dictate the terms. If I decide to let you go, you may go. What else? <clears throat> no, I'm not doing anything else for you. What else do I have to do? An excellent question. Timmy was easy and therefore boring. They made him like some I kind of Nazi. Some real entertainment. It is time to really spice things up. Marriage. Change that. Split them up without killing either of them. If you can do that, I'll have this whole entire no simulation is very much I have no mouth and I much and I must scream. By Harlan Ellison. It's a good short story, really good. It's actually, it's in a collection. When you buy it, you'll get a bunch of short stories with it. But very, very similar, where a computer simulation has humans in it and it sits there and tortures them all the time, and the humans can't ever actually die. Anyways, let's break these two people up. Good day to you. Hey there. I hate to break it to you, but I saw your husband kissing some other woman. I think it was Mrs. Deagle. What a horrible thing to say. Anyways, Betty wants me to break you up. What? Now that's a ridiculous thing. Our marriage? Oh, goodness, what kind of a question is that? Mabel didn't put you up to this, did she? What a silly thing to ask about. Well, that was a fail. Let's save and quit. I guess we're gonna have to do this on Bill's end. Hello. Robco. Hi, you kiddo. What's the good word? Your wife hates you. What can you tell me about the Rockwell's marriage? You want to know about that? Kind of grown up stuff to be worried about, don't you think? No, oh, we have well, to split them up. Your head about it. They worked out their problems a while ago. Haven't heard them fight in a long time. It's a pretty convincing simulation. Is that so? Well, you ought to tell that to my big toe, kiddo. Hurts like the dickens since I stubbed it earlier today. Feels pretty real to me. He wants to believe. Heard you and, uh, what the fuck? If sand were the ocean, and the ocean were the sand, would that mean that you're me and I'm you? Simulation demons! What's another round of this? Bowl to me. <coughs> She's gone. 
This has been the glitchiest save in Fallout. She's gone. Oh wait, she's going here. Is this your home? Well, hi there. Heard you two fight quite a bit. Good day. Hello, Roger. Heard you two fight a lot. Hey there, little lady. How's it going? We're all connected, man. Anything you want to tell me about your marriage? Now see here. That's not anything for you to be asking about. Our marriage is our business and it's private. Ah, uh, damn, the party is dead. Why can't people it was a good attempt, Wilson. And just leave us alone. Find Dad. Break up without killing either of them. Well, things got complicated. Betty, uh... Don't you have something you should... What am I supposed to be doing again? Visit the Rockwells, observe their happy marriage, and then destroy it. But don't kill them. That would spoil the fun. We can't kill them. We don't have weapons anyways. Well, hi there. Martha, you kind of like Sam, don't you? Why are you asking me? I don't know anything. And why should I care about their marriage anyway? Oh, I don't know. Because we want to irreparably break it forever and ever. You say so, lady. People around here should mind their own. Oh, business. Martha, you've been with Sam, haven't you? Oh, Martha. Sorry, kiddo, but I'm not in the mood for jokes. You're having an affair, aren't you? Go ahead. Tell it to me straight. Go on now. You can do it. Maybe we need to plant evidence. Good day to you. Hello, Janet. Well, the difficult part about this is we missed the freaking speech check. Is that really necessary? Oh, so we can beat them to death. What have we got here? You're me and I'm you. I'm glad you clipped that, Waffly. Thank you for that. <laughs> that needs to remain. I appreciate that. Oh, shit. I just don't know what to do anymore. When Roger's down in that stupid basement, he's outside sweet talking that hussy. Martha Simpson. It claims there's nothing between them, but I know it's all a lie. I found a woman's pendant once on Roger's workbench, but of course I said nothing. That's me, Janet Wackwell. Yeah. How can I claim cram to clean cream can? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle peppers, a peck of pickle peppers. Peter Piper picked a Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle peppers. Where's a peck of pickle peppers? Peter Piper picked. I said nothing. That's me, Janet Rockwell, prim and proper house or housewife, living a perfect life here on Tranquility Lane. That's funny as heck. Some days I wish I really had beat her to death with that rolling pin. Then Roger would know I'm the only girl in the world. Well. Well. Quite a mystery is unraveling here then. Uh, interesting. I'm going to sleep in your bed before we break you up. Hello, sweetie. How are you? How are you? I gotta go. Hello. Well, shit. What's down here in the basement, huh? More secrets, maybe? Oh, this place doesn't look near as friendly. You have nothing interesting to place on the desk at this time. Well, that pendant. Remember that? Maybe if we go into Martha's house. Let's go read her diary again. You need a highlight section in your Discord. Oh, you also need to change your roles around because people above you have more rights than you at the moment. Is that right? <laughs> nice. Here, I can, uh, I'll give you a bunch of, of powers in there. Yeah, that's a good idea. We need to have a highlight section. That's a good idea. A really good one. Let's do that. Hello. Soon you'll be divorced. Hello. 
Not that I had, uh, like, all the OG powers, though. BB, holy shit, it's been a minute. How you doing? BB's a fucking, she's a buff streamer, man. She will show you the muscles. She will sit there and she will flex. She will give you the fucking show. It's amazing. She's impressive. This girl works out and she has got the muscles to back it up. She's also a very, very kind person, a funny person, and a talented person. So please check her out. You will be glad you did. Yo. B. B. Gains. What's good? Thank you for being here. Hey, Waffle. Let me make sure you got rules. Hello, dear. Hi, Roger. Are you planning on spending the evening down in Doesn't the founder thing have, like, maybe I have to give myself all these other ones, too. Here, take a mod rule in there. There you go. You should be able to make, uh, different things in there now if you wanted to. You want yourself at the top, but that means bots... ...in their own rules, and everyone under that, whichever order from highest to lowest. Oh. Well. Did my rules just move? I just moved myself, I think. Thanks for being here, Gaines. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Pretty sure I still got the... That show up? Otherwise, permissions get mixed up. Oh. Well. They do? I thought all these rules got. It's probably something we ought to mess with off the stream, huh? But either way, okay, I'll look into that. I'll look into that. I've been looking for a bit. Well, I appreciate that, Gaines. Check your hours. I've been lurking in your stream a shit ton. How do you check hours in your stream? What's your bot? Is it Gaines? What's your points? I should have a fucking ton of hours. I've got a permalurk on you. I found a woman's pendant once on Roger's workbench. Roger's workbench. There we go. Very interesting. I think we need to go find that pendant again. And I think what will happen is she'll grab that uh, rolling pin. Which we should have never picked up. Rockwell's marriage. Maybe the news from house. Hours? Exclamation mark hours? Let me see. I'm ready for this. Hours. No? Huh. Maybe you gotta be live. Oh, you were looking at ours. 22, yeah, you're getting up there. You're getting up Good there. How you doing, you. Pat? What can you tell me about the Rockwell's marriage? I don't know what sort of thing you'd want to hear about. There was that one time Janet waved This woman is a blower mouse. She's telling a little child oh, about this. I suppose that's not really something Arthur. you should concern yourself with. All in the past now. Ooh, Waffle, you're getting the mad hours. Rick convincing simulation. Oh, sweetie. Maybe you should just run along and play. That's right, we're crazy. We're fucking crazy! We gotta go now. So, Pat's not really involved in this. Pat is not at all upset that we ruined Timmy's life. 66 hours. Oh, okay. Huh, how'd you know that, Gaines? Shit. Oh, either way. Sweet. We're getting up there. Almost 100. The abandoned house, I think that's how we destroy the whole simulation. Looks it up for you. Thank you, thank you. Hope you had a nice Thanksgiving, too. I know you're out of Canada. That was last week, right? So happy belated Thanksgiving. The Dithers residence. Is Martha? No, the Dithers is the woman who thinks that this is all a simulation. And she's nuts, man. She's crazier than a bat. No way this is fake. You've got to find it. Leave me alone, I'm busy. You, this can all end if you find Leftovers it. are finally done. Do you have a really healthy Thanksgiving dinner or do you go all out for that one? When I hit 100 hours, I'm going to give myself a shirt that says the best Aussie. Nice.
This old dingbag doesn't have anything useful though. Tons of turkey, gravy, and veggies. Nice. Sounds like just like we have. I just recently learned this from Waffly. The Australians don't have Thanksgiving. No Thanksgiving for the Australians. You've got to introduce it, Waffly. Signal found. All right, Mr. Handy, how you never catch the carpet on fire is beyond me. What's this? Gotta find the penchant since we failed that beach check. Man, our life would have been so much easier. Or Halloween. Do you guys have Halloween? Waffly? Don't do Halloween either. I'll be damned. This is definitely not Martha's house. Martha, we need to know more about this affair you had. Hiya, kiddo. What? Yep, you got that right. Heck of a day to get some work done outdoors. Now I'm gonna endlessly walk in this circle over and over again. Isn't this the Rockwell's house? The Simpson residence. Maybe it's Martha Simpson. Hi, Martha. Oh, it is Martha. I meant to ask you, have you seen the new Robco catalog? I thought you might be interested, since you don't seem to like your Mr. Handy. No, no, I don't like robots. Don't like the one I have, and don't want a new one. If I didn't rely on the thing so much, I'd just get rid of it. You know, there's nothing to worry about, right? It's perfectly safe. They build them so they won't... Well, let's listen in on this a little bit. Well, maybe you feel that way. I really don't like it. What if something goes wrong? It's perfectly safe, I'm sure. Everyone here has one, and no one's ever had a problem. How's it going? Oh, here we go. We're back to an oblivion talk. Stick to the roads. By the nine divines, stick to the roads. It's the Daedra, you see. You've broken the law. Pay the courts your fine or serve your sentence. Then pay with your blood. Oh! Ooh! Oh! Martha, tell us about this affair. Have you seen my dad? I don't think so. But then I haven't really been looking for him. Sorry. He says, Yo. I suppose. I hadn't really noticed. Alright, I gotta go. Yo, young son! Adam is very good at video games. He's a fellow Ohioan. I consider him a friend. He's good at him too. He plays Vermintide, he plays Paladins. He plays Battleborn. He's very, very good at him, and he also keeps a finger on the pulse of the industry. So check him out for your latest news. And if you don't like his opinion, well, you show up ten so minutes nice, later, you might get a new they? one. It's good the two of them worked everything out. Worked everything out. So they've had problems in the past. Oh, I well, I'm not one to talk, but there was that fight last year. Yeah, tell us about Everyone that. Everyone could hear them arguing. Janet thought there was something going on with Roger and Martha Simpson. Who's standing right behind her, by the way. It wasn't true. But I've seen the way Martha looks at him. Janet may believe him, but I sure don't. Hey, thanks for the tip. Hey, maybe you should mind your own business. Why, I never. You're the one who asked me about it, you little brat. Hey, Mabel, how's it going? Well, hi there. So now she's perfectly good with us. You're just a simulation. You're what now? Why don't you go find Timmy and have a nice game of catch? Aren't you confused that I'm fucking here and have no parents? But I wasn't here ever before. Martha. Good day to you. Tell us more about the marriage, huh? Why are you at? Oh, come on. You know something, don't you? What's the story? Good thing we asked her again. We would have never known. There's no story. Fuck Snoop Never Dogg. Once. Roger and I, nothing ever happened. Snoop Dogg just jumps on whatever wanted. bandwagon is available. Oh, I don't know. I thought there was something between us. No, that's not true. I, I know there was. But Roger pushed me away. Why would he do that, baby? Come on, Martha. Jenny we gotta solve this. 
She fought with him over it. You deserve Why, him more than his wife. Something. Okay, let's do I this. I try to stay away from Roger, just to avoid giving her a reason to hate me more. Shake and bake. Yeah, but he follows UCLA when they were big, and now he's back to the Browns. And haven't you heard him on radio anymore? He hates us. I don't know why he's even in Ohio. I have a very serious question. Let's do it waffly. Take care now. You take care too. We got a lot of things to discuss with Roger. Roger and Maybor, whatever the. You are the land. Good day to you. Janet, let's talk about this. Anything you want to tell me about your marriage? Our marriage? Oh, goodness. What kind of a question is that? Mabel didn't put you up to this, did she? What a silly thing to ask about. You really won't talk to me about this anymore? I know all about Martha now. All right, Roger. Well, hi there. Hey there, Roger. Let's talk about the marriage. Now, see here. That's not anything for you to be asking about. Our marriage is our business and it's private. Why can't people just understand? I know there was something with you and Martha. Alone. Oh my god. Sure, sport. Whatever you say. <laughs> sport. Now that's not. Okay. I'm going to need help. I'm pulling out the wiki. We made a little bit of progress. But if we don't want to do this for the next three hours, let's figure this out. Uh, telling Miss Rockwell that her husband's cheating on her. Okay, the speech check was failed. Oh. Oh, I think we... There's a solution Good coming day. up. You two, I want you to know, enjoy this moment together of your strained and awful marriage because it's going to be the last moments. Y'all like cats? Waffly, I do like cats. Do you like cats? But I like both dogs and cats. But yeah, I got a soft spot for cats. I like cats. I'm about the only person in my family that likes cats, though. I got to know your opinion. Adam, do you? Adam has a dog, I think, so he won it. Yeah, Adam has a dog named Cooper. Gaines, do you? There they are. Look how big those underwear is. She's got a fat ass. Underwear almost as big as the bed. Let's go show these to Roger. He'll, he's a horned dog. He's sure to love these. Underwear as big as this damn room. Look at this. Stretch it out, man. Look at that hand to here to here. Like, ten times that, okay? Big underwear. I don't like cats. Dogs are like... A lot of people do not like cats, but... Like I say, in my family, almost no one likes cats, but I've always had a soft spot for them. I've always really liked them. Not so much that I get obsessed with them. Like, some people get way too obsessed with pets in general. And some people get way too obsessed with their cats. But I definitely like... Their temperament. What about this cat? Nexus cat hype. Hello. Well, hi there. Oh, Wobbly didn't mean. <laughs> we ended up going on an in-depth discussion. Like cats. Okay, whoops. We ended up going on an in-depth discussion about cats. <laughs> I found these underwear. Alright, I guess Roger needs them. Old horn dog Roger needs some undies. Well, hi there. Now see here, that's not any. What the hell are we gonna do with these lacy underwear for real? Place it on Roger's desk. Oh, should have known that. Should have known we had to find something to do with the desk. Then he's either cheating or he's a cross dresser. It'd be worse to tell him. It'd be worse to tell Rockwell that he's a cross-dresser, because then he... Now he's living two different lies. Your stream, damn it. 
good day it's to all you. good waffle i'm just glad you're here thank you for that i have to go good day all right on the next episode we will break up the marriage So what's interesting about this is this does tie into Fallout 4 with Dr. Lee. Dr. Lee ends up working for the Institute. Oh, that's not underwear. Just like the bottom half that's a full dress type thing. That's why it's so big. That's why I wonder why they're calling it, like, it's a nightgown. Why are they calling it underwear? Well, normally I ask if they like cats. They say, then boom, have a cat right. <laughs> I appreciate it, Waffly. Really, I do. Thank you.